guys, this is the Super Review Show for my review of The Empire Strikes Back. Now, with Episode 7 coming out, I might as well review one of the best sequels ever made called The Empire Strikes Back. Here's what happens. You have a cast. You have the same cast as returning Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Princess Leia, C-3PO, Chewbacca. They're all coming back, R2-D2. And you meet up with a new character called Lando Calrissian, who is the leader, if you will, of this giant city. It's called the Cloud City. And it's in the sky. It's pretty cool. Um, but this is a movie completely where the bad guys win. Back in 1980, when this film came out, you didn't have that. You didn't have a movie where a, a movie where just the bad guy wins, and then you have a third film. You this this never happened before. So, being that it's one of the best sequels ever made, in my opinion, at least, it shows that how you can go super fun and lighthearted to very dark and gritty not not necessarily gritty but very dark at the same time because you have look han get, han, um, han and han gets frozen in carbonite luke gets his hand cho- chopped off darth vader is now luke's father come on one of the best lines in in his in uh, film history in film history not just any franchise history but in film history you can go up to anyone and say luke i am your father no that 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 I, Everybody knows what that, that is. Everybody knows what it is. And but one of the things you have to be careful of. This is Star Wars Episode Five, The Empire Strikes Back. Now, originally the first Star Wars film, Star Wars Episode Four, was originally just called Star Wars. There wasn't gonna, there wasn't gonna be any sequels because George Lucas thought this 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 franchise wouldn't be this wouldn't be a franchise at all. It'd just be a, a flop completely. History would have history would have changed a lot if that was the case. If Star Wars was a flop, we wouldn't have one of the biggest pop culture sensations in the history of in the history of the you know geek culture in general. It there just wouldn't be it. So um, also you 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 are introduced to the character of Yoda in the movie, and he is one of one of the greatest lines ever created ever put into scripts is in this movie as well. Besides, I am your father. Do or do not. There is no try. That line resonates so well with not just Star Wars, the franchise, but it also resonates as a, as like human beings as a whole. You don't try to do something. You do it or you don't do it. It's very true. It's it's not very true. It is true amongst all of society. So it's just one of the, it's a great meaning in one of these, in a film that everybody went to go see. So by showing that, it, you you, you kind of thought the audience, the audience went home and went, wow, do or do not, there is no try, huh? Never would have thought of that. Uh, but that's besides the point. Overall, I give The Empire Strikes Back a 9.5 out of 10 for the, as the second Star Wars movie ever made called The Empire Strikes Back, coming to, th- coming to, th- coming to theaters 19, in, the, in the year 1980. I stuttered through that. I am so sorry. But f- this has been my review of The Empire Strikes Back. And for all your other reviews and news and other updates, keep it locked on the Superview Show. I'll see you later.